We call this segment Hot Take because it's during the show time where I give you some thoughts, my thoughts, on things that aren't necessarily about politics. Our hot take for today, aliens, the real. Watch this video that just surfaced on the internet. Look at that. Those lights streaking through the sky. Some people in the office said there were flares. Others thought it was Elon Musk's starlight satellites, but let me dispel those thoughts quickly. Those are SpaceX satellites making their way into Earth's orbit, a beautiful sight, but no. What about flares? Does this look like we saw in those videos? Okay, well, maybe a bit, but it's not just flares, it's aliens. Just stick with me on this for a minute, folks. Look at this picture of a UFO taking over Liverpool in 2011. Eight lights in a ring. You see nothing in the middle, why? Because aliens have advanced technology, obviously. They use the same thing that hunters use right here in America, camouflage, using projections to make it look invisible. Just instead of trying to spend thousands of dollars trying to confuse deer, these aliens are trying to confuse people. Back in June, thanks to Donald Trump, the Department of Justice released a report investigating 144 UFO encounters between 2004 and 2021, like this video taken by a U.S. Air Force pilots during a military exercise, a small object zooming through the sky, and none of those soldiers knew what it was. The Tic Tac still point north-south, it goes and just turns abruptly and starts mirroring me. So as I'm coming down, it starts coming up. So it's, it's mimicking your moves. Yeah, it was aware we were there. In the Defense Department's report, they said there are five possible explanations for UFOs, airborne clutters, natural phenomena, U.S. secret projects, technology deployed by other countries, and other. Remember those 144 reports? All but one listed was under other. Uh oh, way to really narrow it down for us. But the fact is, how are you supposed to look at these videos and not think it's aliens? It's got to be. Because unless Joe Biden has some secrets to tell, no country in the world has the technology to go from 10,000 feet to sea level in less than seven seconds. Boom. The question of do aliens exist has been with us for thousands and thousands of years. The clues of aliens visiting Earth have been here all along. The only difference is now we have the technology to prove they were here. In 1400s Italy, Leonardo da Vinci painted this masterpiece entitled Madonna and Child with the Infant St. John. Do you see that thing over Madonna's shoulder? Zoom in a little, it's a UFO. But some people think that might be a little hard to see. Well, look at this painting from the late 1300s in Serbia. It's called The Crucifixion of Christ in... Notice anything unique there? You see those meteors? Mm. I don't, because when you zoom in, you see two people in triangular spaceships. The one on the right makes me particularly curious because, well, look at this video. Look at this footage. Video captured by the U.S. Navy. It shows a triangular spaceship, too. Mm. But if you really are looking for an old example, look no further than the Bible. Read the words from the book of Ezekiel. They are, quote, identical wheels sparkling like diamonds in the sun. They went in in any one of our four directions they faced, but not straight, not veering off. The rims were immense circles with eyes. How does that not describe a UFO? Look at the picture on your screen, folks, and tell me that doesn't look like a flying saucer. And what do you think? I feel like there hasn't been enough to talk about God's role in all of this, so believe me. Don't believe me. I don't know if aliens exist. I'm just glad that three weeks ago, the De Defense Department created a group to, quote, detect, identify, and attribute objects in the interests of special use airspace. In other words, we're going alien hunting, other, so to speak. Tell me what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? You know where to find me. I'm really pleased to be joined by my next guest, a brilliant mind who can explain the unexplainable in a way a guy can understand. Welcome, Michio Kaiku, a theoretical physicist and futurist and author of this book, The God Equation, The Quest for a Theory of Everything. Michio, when we were talking about doing this story, I said, reach out to Michio. This is the guy to talk to about this. You're a futurist. You know these things. What are we seeing here? Are, is, is there alien is there any alien life and are they watching us? Well, first of all, I don't know if the aliens are out there, but I'd be shocked if they weren't. We have cataloged so far 4,000 planets going around other stars in the galaxy. And so we have a census. For the first time, a census of the Milky Way galaxy. On average at night, every single star you see at night has a planet going around it. On average, every single star you see tonight when you go outside. This means there are billions, 
billions of Earth-like planets in our own backyard, perhaps with oceans, atmospheres, perhaps with microbial life, we don't know. But we think, though we cannot prove, that the galaxy could be teeming with life. With life, and, and, and do you think any of these recent videos that, that have been released, I'm, we're showing one on the screen right now, where it looks like there's an object flying at a massive rate of speed, and you know, it, as, as those pilots were watching, those Navy pilots were watching, they said they've never seen anything like this. They're, they didn't think there was anything humanly, ever, ever produced humanly that, that could make this type of move. What do you think when you see it? Well, the military has finally owned up to this. For the first time in history, the military now admits that, quote, they are not ours. You see, before, you could always play this cat and mouse game with the media, saying that maybe they're stealth bombers. Maybe they're experimental aircraft being perfected at Area 51. Nope. The military now admits that they're not ours. So they could be Russian. They could be Chinese. They're working on what are called hypersonic drones. Hypersonic drones can also maneuver somewhat similar to that that you've seen in the videos, but these things go underwater. Think about that. They can actually dive and go underwater, and they can drop 80,000 feet in a matter of just one or two seconds. No Russian, United States, or Chinese craft can do this. This is beyond our technical capabilities as far as we know. And let me take the other side of this just for a moment here. If there are other beings out there from other planets, other terrestrials, they come and they want to, they, are they just observing? Uh, it, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it strike us that maybe one of them would want to come down and maybe take a closer look or even have a hostile take on well, this planet? If you're walking in a forest and you see a squirrel, do you go down and try to talk to the squirrel? Well, maybe initially, but eventually you get bored because the squirrel doesn't talk back, and the squirrel has nothing more to, to say to you. So I think that if the aliens are out there, we may find, they may find us curious. Uh, they may be curious about our level of technology and stuff. But for the most part, we'll, they'll leave the forest animals to themselves, I think. Yeah. So you're saying we need to work on our UFO language skills <laughs> to communicate. <laughs> Well, we have to realize that we could be encountering new laws of physics. If they can reach us from the stars, that means they can exceed yep. the light barrier. They can break the light barrier, which means they could be hundreds of thousands of years more advanced yes, than us. Yes, sir. Michio, I knew I picked the right guy. We'd love to have you back. We're having a lot of fun with this. And a lot more. You're a futurist. We're talking AI like crazy. We love you. Michio Kaiku, nice to see you again. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.